What's up everybody, today I'll show you guys how to install the Proton AOSP custom ROM onto your new Pixel 5. Proton AOSP is pretty much a simpler version of the Pixel 5's operating system, but it also has improved securities according to their website. Before we start, little disclaimer, you do this at your own risk. Messing with a phone like this may void your manufacturer's warranty and possibly brick your device. If you understand that, you can begin. The things you need is the Pixel 5, Windows PC, download and install minimal ADB and Fastboot for Windows, the Platform Tools folder, your build number of your Pixel 5, so you could get the stock factory image just in case you ever need it. You could save it onto your computer, and the Proton AOSP custom ROM for Pixel 5. Now let's begin. So what you need is a, a Pixel 5 with the bootloader unlocked. Let me show you guys how to do that. So you go onto your Pixel 5, um, go into the settings, scroll down to about phone, scroll down to your build number, make sure developer options on. I am now a developer. Go back one, go into systems, open up the advanced tab, and click on the developer options. Scroll down to you see OEM unlocking, make sure that is enabled. And scroll down to you see USB debugging, make sure that's enabled. Now restart your Pixel 5 by holding down the power button and clicking the power button off. Hold down your volume down button and power back on your Pixel 5. You see this screen here. Normally, right here would say locked. Uh, normally, uh, next to device state, it will say locked in yellow. And you want it to read unlocked in red. And I'll show you guys how to do that. If yours says locked, head over to your PC. Make sure you have minimum ADB and fastboot installed onto your PC. Go to this website here. Scroll down until you see download version download it down, click on that uh, scroll down a little bit click on click here to start download and click primary download I already have a download so I don't need to re-download again install it into your computer go to this uh, the platform tools website and download the platform tools the SDK the SDK platform tools Scroll down a little bit, you see download SDK platform tools for Windows. Click on that. Uh, you can read the terms and condition if you want. Uh, check box that I have read and agree with the above terms and conditions. And click download SDK platform tools for Windows. I already have download, so I don't need to do that. Open up a command prompt by either pressing the Windows, Windows and R key on your keyboard and typing a CMD or Go into the search bar down here and type in CMD. Now in your command prompt, type in CD space, and you want to go to where you uh, extracted, downloaded and extracted your platform tools folder, and move that folder into the custom ROM. I mean, move that folder into the command prompt, like so, and hit enter. Um, now you want to type in the command prompt fast, boot, flashing, unlock and hit enter. I did it already so I don't need to do that again. And if, when you want to relock your fast boot mode or bootloader, you type in fast boot flashing flashing lock and it'll relock your bootloader. Uh, but make sure your phone is in fast boot mode. Okay, now that your bootloader is unlocked, you want to go to Download the custom ROM, the Proton AOSP custom ROM with Google Apps. In the link in the description, uh, scroll down and click on the Proton AOSP Redfin G apps, or you could download it without G apps. I like the I like the one with G app, so the one with G app has Google Play in it. So download and save that. I have it saved already, and also you should. Uh, go to the Pixel 5 Stock Factory ROM website 
and download your current you should do this at the first at the beginning actually <laughs> but yeah uh, you remember your build number that when you press a lot of time to open up the developers options um, well that number is your gonna be your current you can find your current ROM with that number on this website here so you scroll down till you see Redfin for Pixel 5 and uh, you find your build number this is my build number here and you download that and just save that in case you ever need it okay and remember also save your build number somewhere too so you can remember it okay and make sure you click link and not flash okay to download it like so I already have it right here now back onto our uh, command prompt here we want to type in fast boot space dash W this is going to wipe the Pixel 5's current firmware or current operating system okay and it'll wipe all the data out and so we can uh, install the new firmware or a new the new custom ROM okay so wait until that finishes erase data okay erase metadata okay which is good <laughs> now we want to go into where we download the custom ROM the Proton AOSP uh, open a new window uh, extract this folder here I have it already right here open up this folder that you just extracted copy all of this in here and move it into your platform tools folder okay copy it over here to your platform tools folder copy I already have it in there and what we want to do is uh, go into the platform tools folder and select flash dash all dot bat that we just extracted over here okay so we want to double click on that and what this is going to do is going to install the new operating system or the custom ROM to our Pixel 5. So let that finish. It might take a little while. You'll know when it's done when the command prompt says uh, press any key to exit. Now you can see on the command prompt it says press any key to exit. You can press any key to exit. And your phone now will boot into your new custom ROM. It might take a little while because it's the first time booting up the system, the operating system. And you see there's a water, fire and water kind of symbol here, which means this is the, the Proton AOSP's, uh, I guess, icon or something. Symbol, yeah. So let that boot up. Might take a little while. There we go. Now you have the new Proton AOSP custom ROM. You can hit start. Do the initial setup. Okay guys, you have successfully installed your Proton AOSP custom ROM onto your Pixel 5. If you know how to root this, you can if you like. I'll show you guys in my next video how to root it as well so you can follow along on that tutorial. Or you can use a Proton AOSP custom operating system just as is. Thank you guys so much for dropping by. Please like or dislike this video. Please comment and share this video. Please subscribe. And please hit the bell noti so you can get notified when I come out with new videos. Thank you guys and I hope this tutorial have helped you guys out. You guys have a good one.